There are two new players in the VR and AR space, Google and Samsung. Samsung has a VR, AR, mixed reality headset coming next year. Right now it's called Project Muhan. I got to try it. And Google has a whole new software platform called Android XR. It was just announced and it's going to be available next year. Right now it's for developers. I wasn't able to take any photos or video of Samsung's uh, products, but the headset kind of looked like the Apple Vision Pro. It even had its own breakout battery pack. It had this little visor that came down, fit on my head more snugly like a MetaQuest Pro. A lot of that felt like a mixed reality headset like I've used before, but a lot of what it did with AI was the really impressive stuff. A lot of it is about Gemini AI. Using an AI system that doesn't just work with your voice, but also works with what it sees through the cameras or even inside your VR headset. The glasses are able to respond to you and recognize the world through the cameras, but they also have a pop-up display that also works with instant conversational search. So I could look at things and it can even remember what I've been doing. And if you want the AI to be a little less intrusive, you can always tap to pause it. Now this stuff that I looked at again was prototypes. I don't know the price, I don't know release dates really, but we're gonna find out more about it starting next year. But it does show that future VR and AR headsets are gonna start working with Google's phones more and working with AI more, which is a trend that we're gonna probably see on other headsets too.